Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Charlo brothers are coming back to Texas for a doubleheader fight in Texas. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang. Please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in now Houston, Texas. Y'all have something to be excited about. It looks like the Charlo brothers are coming back to showcase their talents at home and look like H-Town. H-Town, true. Future of Boxing, Jamal Charlo posted this. It's a picture of him and his bro at his bro's last fight with Austin Trout. And it says, Houston, we coming home. Hashtag breaking news for my city. Hashtag Lions only promotion. Hashtag OHB sports. Hashtag double header at the Toyota Center. So looks like Houston is going to have both Charlos in a feel good hometown fight. Don't know the opposition. The date has not been announced yet. This is coming directly from Charlo himself. And listen, they deserve it. Both fighters deserve this. Uh, Errol Spence recently, another Texas native, one trains with Jermail Charlo. And they deserve it because they've been doing their thing, both on the promotional side, just stirring people up, getting people talking. We don't have to go into everything that they said but they got people talking with their interviews right and more importantly in the ring you look at Jamel he had a tough fight with Austin Trout still got the job done hurt Trout Trout didn't look particularly great um you can't you can say it wasn't Jamel's best performance either but like I said winning is winning he retained that WBC and he, he beat him so he moves on to the next and you're not going to be able to knock out everyone, especially if they don't necessarily engage as much as you would like. And Trout's a veteran. He's been in there with Canelo. He's been in there with Cotto. He's been in there with Jamal. So he knows how to, he's Edison Lada. He knows how to survive, even if hurt. Jared Swift hurt. He's, he's battle tested. So I'm not looking too much into that. He's just crafty, slippery, southpaw veteran. Before that, Charlo had very sensational wins, knockouts, bad blood knockouts, where Charles Hatley was a mandatory talking a lot about him and he shut the critics up with that performance. Erickson Lubin maybe even talked just as much if not more and he was the hot shot prospect Southpaw got knocked out in one round right. You look at Jamal's career he's done what he was supposed to do champion at 54 he stayed long enough to beat Julian J. Rock Williams a fighter some people said he was ducking and at the end of the day he proved that wasn't the case and he stopped j-rock set j-rock back a couple notches then he moves up to 160 fights Gennady golovkin's um mandatory for a long time jorge sebastian highland knocks him out people blamed charlo because the opponent i don't even understand this i was at that fight too cover that fight as media i don't know why you blaming him because highland has a bum knee or what i mean it's not really charlo's deal it's not his problem you know and then he knocks him out and then he fights Hugo Centeno, another fight I covered on the Broner Vargas card. He was on that that co-main event, I believe. And he knocked he knocked Hugo Centeno out, who was a ranked guy. And now he became Triple G, his mandatory for the WBC. So they deserve a fight like this. This is big for Houston. I'm definitely going out there. Um, I had a great time in Dallas, Texas. So I want to see how Houston gets down. I have a lot of fans in Houston from the live streams. You guys, when we when we check in and do the roll call, I know there's a lot of fans just in Texas in general. So please support this. The Toyota Center is in Houston. So it looks like they're going to get a Houston fight. Again, this hasn't been announced by Premier Boxing Champs, but obviously Charlo's announcing it. So I, I would take his word for it unless I hear otherwise but I don't know the opponent don't know the date but I know it's going to be lit because Texas knows how to get down everything bigger in Texas let me know what you guys think who would you like to see them fight and like I said they've earned it if it's a hometown fight they've earned it if they take softer touches obviously they can't fight Canelo or Triple G you know what I mean Jamal can't fight someone like that that's not doesn't make sense Jamel can't fight Jared Swift Heard because Jared Swift Heard Swift Jared Heard He's coming off a shoulder injury and surgery. And he specifically said out his own mouth 
that he's not fighting Charlo next. You know, so it just depends on when they're trying to make this fight. But if he's announcing it, I would say this was just today that he announced it. I would say it's probably soon, right? So Heard probably won't be the opponent. It would be great. That'd be great. But other thing is Heard has more belts than Charlo. He has two belts, unified champion. So would Heard want to, on top of coming off of an injury and, and surgery and stuff, he specifically said he doesn't want to fight him straight away. He's going to test out the shoulder and take a tune-up. But even even if he still wanted to take the fight, is he going to want to fight in Houston, Texas? So it might be a, a feel-good type of fight. Hopefully, they get somebody, you know, ranked top 10, top 15. But we'll see. They definitely deserve it. Both these brothers deserve a hometown fight. And I like Premier Boxing Champs kind of tackling this Texas market. I think Texas is, is like uh, the lost city of Atlantis when it comes to boxing. We haven't really had, except for like Canelo had a big event, but we ain't really had Texas natives who were doing really well in Texas in, in quite some time where they, they start. It's just untapped. It, like the, the sky's a limit. When I went to the Errol Spence, the Charlos were there, but when I went to the Errol Spence fight, I was like, yo, this is dope. It, they're in Jerry's World Junior. You know, it wasn't at t Stadium, but it was just a big venue and I don't know, Frisco, Texas, right next to Dallas. It was a good feeling. The fans came out. The fans seemed happy. And that wasn't even against the biggest name available. It was just the mandatory for Errol Spence. So we'll see what they do. The Charlos definitely have the mouthpiece and the skills to back it up. Let me know what you guys think. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, so you know where you get the information from. First, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Eagle Sun. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.